I now have the privilege of introducing Finroids. Finroids creates intuitive finance process automation solutions, which are embedded into its client's ERP. Finroids brings end user centric simplicity into the corporate working space. Its integrated solutions enable corporate processes to convert from manual processes into automated ones, resulting in higher operational efficiency and more security. Please welcome Rob Van Peer, co founder and president of Finroids. Thank you, Anthony, for that uh, introduction and thank you for the opportunity to present ourselves. At Findroids, as the name indicates, we develop financial droids, which we embed in the client's ERP. We basically solve two problems. The first problems we solve is, over the last 10, 15 years, there's a whole range of fintech companies that have invaded the space between the bank and their clients. They try to push these two apart and grow market share within. <clears throat> Our experience is that neither party really wants that. So what have we done? We provide tools to the banks to integrate, to tighten the relationship back with their clients and integrate into their system through real-time data integration. That's the first problem and the first solution. Second problem, and this is based on you know, 20 years of experience as a consultant, companies investing tons of money into systems which only solve 60 to 80% of the corporate requirements, so they still end up with inefficient processes and a lot of paper push. What have we done? We've taken a proven market-leading ERP system, we built ingenious brains with pretty faces, and we closed the gap. And along the way, we provide 25 to 95% of efficiency gains in these processes. What's our market? According to Gartner, SAP is the number one ERP leader. 77% of global transaction revenue passes via SAP, and we have a 90% relevance. That means that 90% of SAP users will benefit from using at least one of our apps. With that, we anticipate a potential annual revenue of $5 billion. Competitors, yes, we have some competitors. They typically come from different angles, either the business side or different IT angles. We combine all of these angles. And why is that valuable? Why is that relevant, you might ask? The point here is, if you would work with an architect to build your house, and that architect is clueless, clueless about plumbing or electricity, and you, get, you start building, you get to the second floor, and you realize that you need a bathroom where the storage room was planned, it's going to be very costly and cumbersome. <clears throat> what we do is by putting in those different angles of, uh, of knowledge, we make it a smooth client experience. <clears throat> our look and feel and I would like to thank David from uh, Modus Create to basically introduce us because I fully agree about your views of the future imagine you're in a city that you've never been before and you're hungry what do you do? you take an app it will tell you what kind of food is available where it is available you pick food it will. the app will tell the restaurant what you want and where you want it that kind of simplicity we bring to the corporate when they, for example, want to have a look at their global liquidity. <clears throat> Interested parties and early clients, I'm very happy to say that these are mostly clients. There are two of them that haven't, where the ink hasn't dried yet, but um, we anticipate to sign them on very, very soon. The team, I'm, I'm joined here today by uh, Aravind and Christian, and speaking of international teams, Aravind is based in Denmark. Uh, Christian is based in Norway. Our innovation team is based in Chennai, India. We have been trusted by large, large clients over the last 20 years. You see a couple of names there. Uh, we've been working together. We've seen good times, bad times. We know what it takes to deliver and to, uh, and to grow a company. So what is our ask? $6 million. That's one and a half million per minute of presentation today. Um, where we are today is we have invested one and a half million dollars already. We've had $3 million in revenue over the last couple of years. We have a range of products that have been approved by global banks and global corporations. With this investment, we anticipate that by the end of 2023, we will have over 25 million in revenue by touching just 0.1% of the corporate market share. By 2025, our revenue will be over $200 touching just over 2% of the corporate market share. 
I hope you found this interesting and I look forward to answering your questions in the breakout rooms.